Hello YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to the demo of Dreamcore, a liminal space game recently released at Steam's Next Fest. And I'm really excited for it. I've seen a couple of people playing it um, and it looks very much like a liminal space found footage kind of body cam style game. And I'm just, there's something very atmospheric about that sort of vibe. So I hope you enjoy it. But without further ado, let's dive straight in. So this is where we started originally. And you can hear not much in the background. However, that hissing noise, I'm going to keep there because that is in my ears. So that is going to be in your ears. Can I climb that? No. Did I come down that? Let me just... Oh, no, I can't do that, can I? Never mind. There's me being me. <laughs> nice plan. Genuinely a nice plan. Oh, I love, oh, God, more of the, I love these found footage games at the minute. I don't know what it is. These sort of backrooms, liminal space games where you got like this dust effect on the screen is just mwah, perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm really on a kick at the moment for like found footage and liminal space stuff where it's like, you found a, a random VHS somewhere, and I love this effect. This is a really good effect. Like, you can see the dust particles on the screen highlighted by the, the thing, highlighted by the light, the fluorescent light. Oh my God, why is that? There's a fucking, there's a fucking eyeball in the sky. <laughs> I didn't think this would have any scares in it. There's genuinely an eyeball right there. What happens if I look at it? Because if you're in a backrooms game and you look at the lights, you die. No, I think I'm fine. Is there another one? No. <laughs> Can I do anything? What the fuck? Oh my god, that was my running. That's so loud. <laughs> I can't believe there's a giant eye there. I'm not, I'm not gonna run. This doesn't feel like the sort of game we run unless we absolutely have to. Why am I wearing shoes in a pool? Why am I in this pool? <laughs> I mean, there's no ripple effects in the wa water. I don't want to go in there. I mean, I kind of do. I kind of do want to go in there, but I also don't at the same time. Have I got a flashlight? No, I do not have a flashlight. Oh, that has an exclamation mark above it. I don't want to go in there, do I? Close the door. Close the door. <laughs> I don't know if I should be in here. I definitely don't feel like I should be in here. I'm going to leave. <laughs> There's nothing in there. I just hit a wall. I've got shivers now. <laughs> oh, my guess is you go in there, find there's nothing in there, come out and see that. Uh, I'm seeing. I'm seeing what you were thinking there, game. Oh, my God. I tell you what, Unreal Engine is going to change horror gaming forever. There's no, you wouldn't know, if you just showed this to someone, you wouldn't know if this was a video off someone's phone or a game. <laughs> music? I like music. Let's go for music. I don't, I don't like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not comfortable stood in this water. It's what I'm not. <laughs> Something about being stood in that water that I just don't like. Oh god, there's there's a few ways to go, isn't there? 
They were climbing over railing. Can I jump? No, I can't. Don't climb over this railing. <laughs> I've seen you in the TikTok I watched. Except you were sat in a corner somewhere. What the fuck is this place? <laughs> Who else knows? Oh, this way. Thanks. Who else knows of any good... Um, I mean good backrooms games. Not the co-op ones. I'm talking this style of you're exploring and, you know, creepy stuff might happen, might not happen. Real sort of liminal space horror. Because I think it's very dark up there. I think this is what what scares me is the silence and the exploration and the uncertainty. You know? I don't suppose I can get up these. No. No, no, I can't. No rockets? Flashlight. Flashlight. Warning flashlight. Is there a flashlight in here? No. Flash warning? No, I'm supposed to go that way. I think I would kind of hate to be in a swimming pool after it closed. Like, I think it would be really unsettling. Especially like this. But if, if you were like this, I think this would be really quite... Oh my god, there's so many bits here. There's so many doorways to go in. Oh. This makes me feel quite unwell. Oh, they all go to the same place, though, so that's okay. Do these all go to the same place? They do all go to the same place. If I was there, I'd be singing the Halo theme. I saw I saw a video of somebody doing that. So it was somebody somebody in a like a church or something like that started singing the Halo theme, and I'm just like, well, now I'm all a quiver. <laughs> Oh, that's very dark water. Did anybody else find this environment weirdly familiar? I think that's the beauty of liminal space. Things like this. There's there, there are bits between bits, right? So there's a, there's a bit that everyone seems to recognize. Unless you mean this is legitimately, you've seen this in another game somewhere. Oh, wow. A, a, a slide. Look at that. You could not differentiate that. That was like a photograph. Oh my god, that looks like a photo. <laughs> this is so weird. I can't jump, though. That's the thing. Can I get to... Oh, it goes all the way up. Can I get to the top? The stairs over here. I definitely want to try and get to the top. slide not the game water park somewhere i've never been a big fan of water parks i mean obviously because i don't i don't really like being in water <gasps> speaking of not liking being in water i loaded up um subnautica today in vr i don't that's a huge plant that's an anomaly i swear god i um yeah i loaded up subnautica in vr and it's pretty it 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 gives me the 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 heavy stomach feeling i'm not gonna lie this turned from horror game to after hours fun time super fast <laughs> i got um and i've never i've never actually played some Lorca, so i i loaded it up and i started uh like a freedom mode where i didn't have to worry about survival in fact so i was like i literally just want to know if it runs um, so I loaded it and I was in like a pod in the sea of some sort and I got out of the pod and I'm literally surrounded by ocean. In the distance there's like a big ship. I assume the pod came from the ship. Um, but I'm surrounded by ocean. So I just plop myself in the ocean and I'm just surrounded by water. And the feeling I got when I was, excuse me, surrounded by water in the middle of this digital ocean, all I could hear was like the sh 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 in my ears from the headphones was exactly the same feeling I get 
when I'm actually in a pool. And I'm like, this is bizarre. This is really strange. Like, I don't... Uh, oh my god! <laughs> I wonder what the fuck that noise was then? <laughs> Mate, did you move? You do! Boop. Can I roll you? No. <laughs> what on earth that noise was then? I definitely don't want to go in here too far. Oh, it's getting a little lighter in here now. No climbing of railing. Got it. What's around the corner? <gasps> a slide. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, can I go in here? No, I can't. Look at that slide. I'm sure people would love that slide. Yeah, the um, yeah, Subnautica in VR gave me a proper a, a stomach heave earlier when I was using it. These look like teeth. I, I, I can't see it. These look like teeth. How did we get here anyway? Like, what? Not like here, like this building. Like, I just kind of feel like I've been walking for a long time. I mean, that's, that's obviously, it is, it is a walking game, but I just kind of feel like, I don't know. I don't really feel like I've done, I've taken any turns or choices. Oh, there's stairs. I, I thought that was going to be a big drop. I just, I'm so expecting someone to be behind me. I don't know why. Oh, I don't like this. Uh, music? Sorry, what? Uh, pardon? Am I going, this? let's run towards this. Jesus. Is this like a magical staircase? Is this... <laughs> Have I found the exit? Oh, I've I've can't run anymore. I've run out of I've run out of stamina. Oh, there's another hole there. Uh, Akros, do you have stamina, or can you run indefinitely? If so, you can speed run this. I could speed run this. You're right. I'll put it on the list. What do I want to speed run it? I want to have another go at um, Didius. Uh, talk to me, it's okay. What? Hate that. Hate how high up that is as well. Spoosh, spoosh, spoosh. Oh dear. Oh, oh, that's okay. There is, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It looks like a pair of nostrils at the end of the tunnel. I'm not gonna lie. Has anyone seen that game uh, about the giant policeman? It's, it's literally. It, I think I'm pretty sure the developers are called Tall Boys, right? But it's literally a policeman sat in the middle, a giant policeman sat in the middle of a town square, and if you break the law, he will reach down and grab you. It looks terrifying and great at the same time. It keeps popping up on my feed every now and then. More slides. Can I get out of here? Can I hop this? No? Okay. Are these supposed to be like the showers you get at the side of a pool? I mean, I've obviously been in a pool before. I'm aware of the concept. <laughs> I'm not just unaware of how pools work, but I just don't like being surrounded by water. I don't really like being surrounded by this water either, I'll be honest with you. This feels a bit off. I just had this weird feeling that I was being followed then. 
Like, there was still splashy noises when I got out of the water. But, like, following me splashy noises. I don't know why I feel like this is the way to go. There's no... There doesn't feel like there's a choice here. It feels like there's a lack of options, but... <gasps> yeah, I saw something move! I think it was a giant yellow ball, but I saw something move. Oh, there's actually things here. There's stuff in this room. There's like other pools. Uh, what? <laughs> it was you. You're what I saw. Wow. This is... Oh, I fell in the water. Hiya, you're right. <laughs> I like the music. Well, I say music. I like the sound. It does kind of feel like someone's cat has lent on the uh, piano, though. It's just like on one, on one key. <laughs> One thing I'm not a fan of in these liminal space games is the fact that when you run, like, they include, like, microphone noises, like, breathing into a microphone noise, which always, it makes me slightly paranoid that I'm breathing into my microphone, which I do do on occasion. Yeah, <laughs> I said do-do. Uh, but also, I just don't think, I think it sounds like if I were to drop into the stream and I just heard this sort of, like, breathing noise on the microphone, I'd be like, God, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. All this kit, no idea. Right, what's going on in here? Don't climb over the railings. All right, cool. Good to know. Please tell me there's an exit. Oh, God. I'm like, I ran all the way here. Please tell me there's an exit. Oh, look. Another pool. Ooh, this looks fancy. I wonder if there's another eyeball in the sky. These look a little bit like crypts. I don't know why my brain just went there. I'm also not sure why I'm so paranoid all of a sudden. I'm just... this. I think there's something about this space. It just makes me a little on edge. Right, let's go this way. This looks fun. There's a thingy, a rubber ring. Uh, hi. <gasps> okay, that was, that, honestly, that's a really good jump scare. That, 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 there was no sort of immediate bang or ghost or PNG coming out at me. That was a really good jump scare. Not expecting it, very quiet noise followed by it, but a completely unexpected event genuinely gave me shivers then <laughs> uh does this game have mic settings if not how can you talk to it i don't know <laughs> i don't think it has microphone settings. i'm gonna press escape good options uh controls no nope, nothing graphics that's it yeah that's it that's absolutely it. i'm gonna disable motion blur a second because I think that's going to be better. Is that better or is that worse? Uh, motion blur? Motion blur. That is slightly better. Without it, I mean. There we go. Okay, let's carry on. Ooh. I love oh look, there's another eyeball. Aye aye. That's so weird. Why is there a random cut out of an eye there? Um Do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me we went to the Louvre Gallery in Paris uh a while ago. And this reminds me they have like a a room full of statues that you sort of, you go through the main entrance and then you go into like a corridor and then you go 
into like this big open expanse with all these massive statues. Like, these statues are huge. They're absolutely gargantuan, right? That's literally a two-dimensional image. Um, they're absolutely huge. But the sense of scale when you go in is a bit breathtaking. It is literally like if you were to go from this corridor into here and it were to open up like that, like we just did. Um, it, it, it It's just, it makes you feel so small. It's really strange. It's a really strange sensation. I don't think I've ever had that anywhere else. Like being in such a space that made me feel so small. Not small like a... a kind of uh, metaphorical level, like small and insignificant. Um, <laughs> I get that every day. No, I mean small like I felt like I was a very small stature walking quite a long time towards what I thought was a normal size statue, but actually it was like a 15 foot tall statue of someone. Is there going to be another yellow thing plopping out of this? Hello. Or at least not yet, anyway. Oh, the, um, the, well, I'm going to say specifically the British people in chat would appreciate this. But anyone who likes British TV, oh, there's a big pile of yellow faces down there. Um, anyone who likes British TV. Do you remember Faulty Towers, starring John Cleese, about the restaurant owner? Great British TV show, right? Absolutely fantastic. A lot of us were grown up on, a lot of us were brought up on Faulty Towers and TV shows like that. Uh, to me, in my head, that ran forever and ever and ever, right? There was only ever 12 episodes of that ever made, and only ever two seasons, and I, when I found that out, I had to triple check it because I was certain that was wrong. Oh, I have a choice. And I just wanted to share that. And I know... I can hear music. Other British people in chat right now are like, that's incorrect. And they're going to start Googling it. But it's, it's, it's right. They only ever wrote and shot 12 episodes. And it just stunned me. It genuinely floored me. Because to me, it went on as long as, I don't know, Only Fools and Horses, right? Which went on forever. Where is that music coming from? It feels like it's coming from behind me. It is coming from behind me. I need to go back. I want to go find where that music is coming from. don't think it's coming from down there. I think it's coming from in here. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely coming from over here somewhere. Is it coming from down there? Oh god, oh, this is an awful space to be in. Oh no, it's coming from in here! It's coming from this! What is this? Grab flashlight! I got a flashlight! Turn on flashlight! Oh god, everything's worse. Oh, I like the very slight visual blur when you turn the flashlight on. I'm liking that a lot. Like your eyes blur very slightly when they become as they're becoming accustomed to the light. I mean that also happens when it's really bright, but you know, the thoughts there. And it is a demo. I keep having to remember it's a demo, okay? I'm really unsettled now. They've introduced a new mechanic. So I'm like, oh no. 
Am I finally something interactable? Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, that's it. I've been through so many non-interactable bits, and I've been happy doing it and just just living my life. That now I'm like, oh no, what else is going to change? <laughs> oh good, it's a staircase. Good, good. Let's just get down this staircase as quick as we can, eh? Oh, I'm back here. Uh, wait, hang on. Am I? Oh, am I? Back here, or is this another one? Uh, let's go this way. This kind of feels like I need like a sharpie just to like write on walls. Is this? Have I been this way? Wait, have I been this way? This feels familiar, but also doesn't at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've been this way. I think I probably would have remembered this bit. Is there a... Nope. Okay. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep checking behind me. I can't not do it. I'm the most paranoid person when it comes to these sort of games. I think it's because I, I like it when they do, like, not Easter eggs, but when they do hidden things. Like, some games will do jump scares that don't activate at all they don't they don't make like a sound or anything and they're just like they're just there but they're only there if you see them do you know what i mean like you'll turn around and you'll see something it will scare you but it won't make like a typical jump scare noise you know so you, it was a it was a you had to be there moment in horror <laughs> if that makes any sense whatsoever right what's over here plants more of that I'm trying to make a map of this in my head, and this is just this is going over a bit I've just been in. This makes no sense. This This is no sense. I'm so confused and intrigued at the same time. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know if this has an end. All I know is it's a demo. This could be infinite for all I know. This could be an infinite demo. Can you imagine that, an infinite demo? You imagine if you just drop an infinite demo online. Stairs or not stairs? Stairs or not stairs? I'm going with not stairs. Oh, this looks like the thing I went in a minute ago. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, no. Don't do that again, game. Oh, no. There we go. Yeah, we are. Lovely. Is that? Come on. Work. There we go. <laughs> um, oh. That's a weird shit. What? Okay, that looks slightly familiar, but also not. Same like, same as most other things in here. Looks slightly familiar, but also doesn't. Can I get out of here? I can get out of here. Uh, wait, what? Can I climb this? No, I can't climb this. Hey, CGG on uh, on YouTube. How you doing? You having a good day? Hope you're having a good day. Ooh, a triangular door. So in case anyone's wondering why the YouTube chat is not appearing on screen. But the... Oh, it's made a saving motion in the corner. Did you see that? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, the reason the YouTube chat is not visible, but the Twitch chat is, is because it go actually goes against Twitch's terms of service to have YouTube chat um, showing on your stream. 
because they want you to be friends with everyone online, but only if you're promoting their product. So, yeah. So what I'm saying is if you want your, your, your message on the screen, then Twitch is the place to go. No, I'm set. Did, wait, did we not go down here? Why did it save? I'm really concerned why it saved. Uh, oh, God, my God. It's... <laughs> The shadow made me legitimately think there was something just breathing in the background then. Fuck. Oh, my days. This, again, looks like a crypt. Not a hundred percent sure. This looks huge. This is a weird apartment complex. don't trust corners wow this this again it's a sense of scale isn't it i feel very small stood here there's a sign i bet it says do not um jump over the rails oh maybe it doesn't flash no it's flashlight need here i have a flashlight Wait, why is it needed? Could you not just bimble your way through? Why is it needed? Sign? Sign? I'm really quite nervous now. <laughs> I'm not I'm not used to being nervous in a game. <laughs> I'm not used to being nervous in a horror game. Oh, I I thought I heard something. I honestly thought I heard a thing. Oh no, we're not amnesiaing, are we? There's not going to be something in the water here. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, is that... Was that something? That was something. Is this like a platform? Is it a well? Is this a Sadako well? No, I don't want to look at it too much just in case it turns into something horrible. <laughs> Got my eyes on you. Oh, God. I just, I would, I would just like to leave this bit now. I miss the corridors. I miss, I miss the the staircases and the corridors. Oh, there's one. Oh, thank God, an exit. Oh, I've never been so happy just to find an empty staircase. Please be empty. Yes. Whew. Okay, nothing around here. This is very dark. I'm not, I don't appreciate how dark this actually is. Because without the flashlight, this would be impossible to navigate. Oh, I don't, <laughs> not, not a big fan of how slow that flashlight is to come on either. <laughs> That constant hiss in the background as well really sets me on edge. <laughs> Let's run through this bit. Come on. Oh, hello. There we are. And exit. Oh, wow. That looks fancy. Let's go through the center of this. Oh, I can't run in the water. <laughs> Ooh. Fancy. Oh, 
I mean, I kind of want to get out of the water now because I'm really slow. There we go. Ooh, what's over here? Oh, more water. Oh, I fell in the pool again. Let's go this way. Down here. Uh, oh, I can go around it. Okay. I wonder if I can run forever. I'm back out here. Is this where the eye is? This is where the eye is. Okay. So that has actually led me back here. Okay, so that was this way. So now... No running by the pool. Sorry. So I came down that bottom one, didn't I? I, I came out that bottom one originally. I'll slip and break my neck. Let's go this way. Let's see what's over here. Aye, aye. Because I'm pretty sure I came out of that bottom one originally down here. And then... Yeah, I don't think... I don't think I passed the big red slide. <laughs> you wouldn't be surprised if it turned out that this game ends with a scream. It would be the perfect troll game. It would be the perfect shitpost. The absolute perfect shitpost of a backrooms game. Liminal space game where you go through it for God knows how long and then just this bang, screaming face. Uh, what, what's this? Please shower before entering the swimming pool. Got it. Uh, I will make sure to do that. I will make sure to do that. This is so creepy. I don't see no showers. What's that? Is that... Broken lights or just weird lighting? What is that? Is that just a big plant? That is, in fact, just a big plant. Got it. Head towards the light, maybe? What's through here? Oh, wow. Okay. This place is huge. Like, way huger than I thought. I don't really know what I expected from this. But this isn't it. There's a, there's a certain level of deep, unsettled, like, deep, deeply unsettled that I get from this game that I don't normally get from horror games. Like, I get, I'm, I'm a bit paranoid, and I'm a bit panicked, and I'm a bit on edge, and every now and then one of those things will spike a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Right, so what's through here? This is a green pipe. Oh, I think, oh, have we not been this way? Is this not the way we've been? Oh, no, I don't think it is. No, I remember something similar, but not this one specifically. because we then ran through a big long bit after the bit I'm thinking of when I said oh please let there be something here I ran all the way here I can I can just run forever apparently <laughs> imagine working at Tiles of Us when the order for this building came in Jesus Christ you'd hope you're on commission fuck right so now is this going to lead me back to another part of the I keep wanting to call it the central room Oh, I see. So this leads me back here. Got it. Still can't picture any of this in my head. Though. But we went left through here, didn't we? So we're going to go right. In fact, we're going to go right. Oh, I should have just left it on this and you could have told me if anything happened. <laughs> so we went this way. Wait, hang on. Flashlight needed a head. Wait, that's this is different. <laughs> I 
Things are happening, don't worry, we don't want to spoil things. Oh, god damn it. Wait, th is this different? No, this is leading me back the way I went earlier, isn't it? Yep, no, nope, not going back in that. <laughs> Definitely not going back in that. The room of tunnels. Oh, oh, I see. So, wait, hang on. I'm turned around, aren't I? So I went through here so I came out of here originally which means I went this way and then went oh look a big room and then went to that corner so I just came out of that corner so let's go this way instead so this is the only other way I've not been as far as I know anyway oh yeah now we're at the corner with all the smiley faces this feels like progress That is, in fact, a drop. I just thought that was a bad render. It's not. That's an actual drop. And this is the other um, triangular door, which actually is the same triangular door, which all leads to here. Which So let's go all the way over. Hey, Darcy Sue, how you doing? It's good to see you, friend. Good to see you. We're lost in a liminal space backrooms pool. And we can't quite find our way out. Although this this is starting to look a bit more promising. Spoosh. I can't run in the water. Much like in real life. I cannot run in water in real life either. Immediately stops me. I just have to walk. Realistic physics. That's what that is. Realistic physics. Okay. Oh, there's an arrow over there now. But what's over here? What's back in here? This looks exactly like the room we were just in a second ago. Okay. So let's go through here. Let's follow the arrow. That also feels like progress. I can't work on it either. Yes, I can. I think what you meant to say, Captain, is you can't run on it. Which actually is what you said. But... And what's in here? I'm not convinced this has an end. <laughs> Either that or I'm... Oh, there's a big exclamation mark and an arrow this way. Let's go this way. Either that or I'm possibly too dumb to find it. Wait, did we go the way of the music? I don't think we went the way of the music, did we? Did we go this way? <laughs> you can neither run nor walk on water. You were a cat, not Jesus. Not even Jesus cat. Uh, does this look familiar? Oh, that looks horrific. This does not look familiar. Don't fall in the water. I oh, there is something over here. Got it. Wasn't that an exit sign? I don't think it was an exit sign. Unless I'm... Wait. Am I an idiot? Do you mean this? Oh, wait. Hang on. Wait. Acarus, you're absolutely right. That is a fucking exit sign. Oh, my God. That's the actual exit sign. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's check out this way. Not an immediate exit. This way. Oh, my God. It's a lift. Closed area. I, I want to leave. 37? I mean, I'll wait. It's not, it's not doing anything. <laughs> uh. What? Oh, the 
there's something in there. I just keep walking around and you can keep making noise. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go through here. This feels safe. Oh look, more pools. <laughs> Undeveloped boost is okay. You have a prime, you have the next one. It's fine. Uh, huh. That looks terrifying. That looks fine. This looks exactly like the bits I've just been in. I'm going to go to the terrifying bit. Oh my god, I've died. <laughs> what is this? Uh, why is... I thought that was a giant penis at first. It's not. It's a gravestone. Why is there a giant gravestone? What? What? Why is there a giant gravestone? Why is there a grave? Oh. <laughs> could be a giant gravestone for a giant penis. It could be. You're right. And that leads to... Wait. This is where I was a minute ago. <laughs> Go this way. What's this way? This looks the most dangerous, so let's go this way. Here lies Mike the streamer. Forever lost in a liminal space room, liminal space pool. I need just a, just a teensy weensy bit of direction game. I mean, I found the lift, but I mean, it don't work. So, and I don't, I haven't seen... There's windows? Well, this is new. So, this is definitely new. Oh my god, it's exit 8. Not exit 8. It's it's false dream. <laughs> I'm about to fall into a fucking I'm an observation duty false dream thing. Interesting. I'll never be able to find it. <laughs> I wish I had I wish I had more patience for these sort of games. Like I want to be able to walk through it and be really atmospheric and be like, ooh, so spooky. Ooh, so spooky. I'm just like, oh that one has a light coming out. That's that that should be environmental signposting for me, right? That that means I go that way, surely. I just wish I wish I had a, a T Hi. Wait, hang on. On isn't this where I started? <laughs> Isn't this what... Where the fuck am I now? Well, we've got a different wallpaper at least. This this definitely feels like progress, doesn't it? We've got a different wallpaper. I'm kind of just itching for something to happen now. I think, I think prolonged periods of nothing isn't fun. I mean, it looks gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Right, so that's here, right? So I'm on top of this. I'm on top of this chit tower. Wee! You definitely fall down these and break your neck if you run at this speed. What is through there, I wonder? Is there anything behind me? No. No. Let's go through here. Yeah, prolonged periods of nothing doesn't feel very fun. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get through here because I can't crouch, can I? I don't have knees. No, I haven't got any knees. He doesn't have the knees for it. I know where you are. You are here. Thank you. Basilisk time. <laughs> it's the Chamber of Secrets. I should not have told you that. I should not have told you that. So, an exit sign. Wait, is that the same exit? No, it's a different exit sign. Thank God. 
Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Is this... Oh, this is where I went in a minute ago, isn't it? Not where I went in, but this is where I came out of and went, nope, not going that way. I am certain of it. Yeah, it is. This leads me back here to here. Closed area must go to basement. And this is the only other space I could go to. Which led me here. This this 100 endless looks like a cleaner version of the Chamber of Secrets. So what's through here? Does this have an exit sign on it? No. Must go to basement. How do you get to basement, game? Tell me how to get to basement. I mean, I'll go there. Don't get me wrong. It makes sense. Wasn't the Chamber of Secrets connected to the loo? You're right. <laughs> it was. Jobs. I think that's the way I came originally. I'm pretty certain this is the way I came originally. I'm not... Uh, maybe I'm wrong with that. I hope I am. I hope this is, like, another exit. Oh. Music. We have sound. Interesting. We have a crescendo. Oh, we have another rubber ring. Excellent. Oh, no. This leads to an... Uh, wait, is this two doors? Oh, good. I have a choice. Um, let's go through this one. Wait, what is this one? What does this one say? It says, stairway. Use handrail. It's a stairway going up. I don't think I want to go up. I think I want to go down. So I'm going to go the other way. Maybe you need the torch to go in the dark room in the first room with the sign above. Oh, yes. With the scribbled sign of a torch. You're right. You're right. I'd forgotten about that door. Uh, oh, that looks interesting. That looks plot related. There, there needs to be a quest giver at the top of this staircase. Oh, get off. Hello! Oh, good, I'm back at the apartments. <laughs> well, there's a way over there into the apartments. Maybe I missed something around the apartments. Maybe there's some... I thought, I thought that water was bubbling then for some reason. Maybe there's something over there. Or over there, maybe. Maybe there's something over there. All I know is none of these have a tiny ghost child staring at me through them. Unlike the false dream episode that I did for YouTube. Which I couldn't do on stream because apparently it killed my system. I, could, I can't stream false dream and also play false dream at the same time. Go figure. Now, this doesn't... I know, I absolutely know I've been here before. I'm just hoping to find a different way. Let's go this way. Basement. Basement, right? Right? Yeah? Basement? Basement? No? Basement! No, I'm back here! Fuck! You fucking fuckers! Right, this is the only other bit I've been, I've, I've been near recently. Is I came out that door. That was me turning my light off and on. And then I didn't go this way, right? Because I went out the exit door. And that arrow points me back the way I came. Okay. Let's ignore that. Let's go this way a second. Just for a second. Oh, hello. What's... Bit dark with that light in it. <laughs> there's a oh hi. Uh, there's a there's a door. There's a paint picture of a door. Uh, 
Um, I don't really know what to do with these, I'll be honest. I don't know if they're warnings or they're story points. I don't really... I know that there was one where the radio was. So this basically tells me I've definitely never been here before. Or at least I've never been in that corner before, anyway. I do not know if I've been here before. Bloody hell, there's loads of it. What's over here? Aha! Ooh, signs. Uh, no climbing of railing. Cool, got that. That's a big hole. Big hole. Again, no climbing of railing. Cool, got that. Um, rubber ring. I think I'm losing my mind. No worries, questionable results. You. Oh, music. That's why you can't do open world games. Like, please, someone tell us what to do. Yeah. I don't. I don't mind this. If if it said this has no end at the start, I'd have been totally fine with it, and I've been like, okay, we played it for a bit, and now we're gonna stop. But the fact it's not said that makes me feel like I've missed something. And that that makes me not on sale. That that makes me want to find the thing I've missed. At least you had a mind to lose. Yeah. It's in a jar over there. Uh right. Simple door. Oh, I was that I was down there earlier, which makes me feel like I've never been here either. That goes up. That goes through to this ginormous room. Which leads me down there. I'm not going down there yet. That's a sign on the side of the door, which makes me think it's not an exit. This looks very omnidirectional, so this might be a good thing. Oh, more mirror, uh, more windows. Different windows this time. Big red tubes. Big red tubes. So what's over here then? Not a lot over there. Mm, this looks weirdly familiar. Like I've been in part of this before. Let's just nip down here in a second see what's over here. Big circular bit and a square door. That square door looked weird. I might just go have a look at that square door in a second. Once I know what's over here. Uh, <laughs> rendering, apparently. This is a big green tube. And not a lot else. Wait, I'm certain I've been here. Can I get in this tube? No. Right. I will, I will go back to that square door, I promise. But I, I just want to have a quick... Sneaky peek around here. I'm... That's the problem with these sorts of environments. They all look similar, don't they? It all looks vaguely similar. Right, okay. I'm going back to that big, big square door. Let's go back to the square door. Um, if I can now remember the way. I, I'm actually not convinced I can. But... Back through here. And then... Back through there. Special door for square people. It's hip to be square. Bow, bow, ba da ba da Hip to be square. Bow, bow, ba da ba da Hip to be square. It was... Wait, hang on, I missed... Oh no, it was through there. It was through there, it was through there. I was like, I missed the door. This is literally the door I wanted to go through. This, this door here, what's this? Also, what's through here? There's a lot of big circular doors there. But this is a weirdly square door. Oh. Sounds. Very big long bit here. What's through here? Ooh. Right, we'll come back to that in a second. Make a note, make a note. We'll come back to that in a second. 
You seem to be familiar with this space. It's familiar with... It's all the tiles, mate. It just all looks the same. Like, I'm not familiar with it, if that makes sense. That's what intrigues me more. I'm not familiar with this bit. The fact that I don't reckon... I don't really want to go upstairs. I'm pretty sure I need to go downstairs. Take a shower. Right, so we're back in the, the blue... The blue bit, right? So that's, that goes to the blue bit. It's a very confusing pool and further proves why I avoid them, especially since I can't swim. So it's just a giant battle. Same, Catmus, same. Not going down there. This looks interesting. I think I recognize this bit. I think I at least recognize the... The slides on the side. The side slides. I recognize these bits. But I don't know if I've ever been to this bit, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know if I've been to a bit similar or I came through this bit originally. I'm not sure. Oh, this looks basementy. This no longer looks basementy. <laughs> We've got music, though. So that makes me feel like I'm doing something right. That's a good indicator. Oh, there's lots of... There's lots of smiley faces over there. Did anybody ever have one of those as a kid? I used to have one. I used to have one as a keychain. Like, it was a keychain. It had a little bit of soap water in it. And you just you just shake it, and it used to get all foamy. That's it. That's all it did. It was just a big smiley face back when, like, the, the sort of acid scene was big in, like, the 90s. Oh, I've been... I've been here before as well. This is where I said, that's what's... This is what it's like with these environments, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't go this way, and then went back that way. So we'll go this way. And that's where I got the thing from. Brilliant. I've come full fucking circle. Good. Well, let's go back here then. I mean, oh, Jesus Christ. I forgot this was all here. Fuck. Uh, did I come down here? No, oh, this is a big staircase. Oh, this is a really big staircase. Uh huh. Right, lots of little lobster pots. Good. Human lobster pots. Oh, there's two doors. Why is that two doors? Let's go all up here. If I can find the bit where it said, like, you need a flashlight for this bit, then I feel like I'm making progress. So I'm kind of double backing on myself right now. Except I've double backed before. But so that I'm double double backing. So technically I'm going back forwards. Is that is that make any sense? Ooh. I don't think I've been here before. This looks fancy. They ran out of white tiles. They actually ran out of them. I mean, you gotta admit, this game looks lovely. Like it looks real nice. And as a proof of... If, if they labelled this more like a proof of concept than a demo, I think I'd be more into it. But oh, suddenly, there's a sense of achievement and a sense of accomplishment because I feel like I've just found something I've never found before, which is great. Uh, and it's just saved again, and I'm not sure why. Or it's loading. I'm, I'm not sure. Either, either or, really. Ooh, what's multiple holes down here? Show me your multiple holes. Well, that sounded worse in my in my voice than it did in my head. Oh wow, that's interesting. Right. So, oh god. So we've got a big open room bit there, and we've got a, a staircase here. Big, big, big staircase. Oh boy. Big staircase. Which leads to a slide room full of blue slides and no water, weirdly. Okay. And that leads me back up. I don't want to go back up there yet. I want to go back this way. I say back this way. I want to go this way, not back this way. Ha, there is a door. And only one door? Only one door. Right, so all these are now apartment windows. <gasps> Am I going to be in the apartments now? Is that where I'm going to be? Right, good. One entrance, one exit. Excellent. I love it. 
that's what I love to see. Right, so we're back in the green wallpaper area. Okay. So... At least do this. Which leads down to this. Okay. So... Uh, okay, now I'm losing myself very slightly. Now I am just running for the sake of running around. But I'm still- I'm going down. More down now. Which is good. Uh, what's that say? Nothing. And then that leads... Where is this? Oh, another stack is going up. I think we're going to go up. Oh, it's going more down. More down, less up. Oh, more music. Makes me feel like I've discovered something. That's a nice use of music, that. It makes me feel like I've made progress. I mean, to be fair, at this point, you could stop recycling those points, and I wouldn't know any different. I genuinely would not know. Oh, hello. What's this? Where is? Where does this go? This, this is the moment where it, it could either end unexpectedly or there be a jump scare and it would ruin me. Oh, I thought that was an exit light then. It's not an exit light. Now I'm, I'm completely invested. Ah, this is where I just came out though. I came out here and went this way, right? Yeah. Random thought occurs to me replaying a 2008 Prince of Persia. I technically never finished. I know how it ends, but I'm, I was never willing to give in and do what the game wants the player to do at the end after the bad thing happens. I think I know what you're talking about. There's no choice. It's a lack of options. You should always try and give people as much of a choice as they as you can. Uh, I would... This, this might be a new fear of mine. Being stuck in a liminal space like this. Oh, look. It's a big... Oh, no. It's a big tree. It's a big tree. Uh, there's a drawn-on triangular door there. There's a scribbled-on triangle door, which is weird. You go this way. Uh, or down the stairs. I go down the... Oh. Up the stairs or down the stairs? Let's go down the stairs. We must go down, never up. Oh, look, I'm back to the teeth. I'm back to the teeth room. What's this way? I'm kind of, now, there's a part of me that's like, I recognize this bit and I don't recognize this bit. And uh, there's a little part of me that's like, if I just keep running, I'm bound to find something. <laughs> Which I know will de is definitely not the way you should be playing this game. I'm pretty sure I'm playing it wrong. But that being said, I, I got really paranoid about this room then for a second. I would like to just find something new. To be honest with you. Oh, uh, wow. Well, I wanted to find something new. I found the basement of a water slide, which is cool. You just quit the game. I won't repeat the action of the girl's father near the beginning, no matter how good the intentions are. Yes. Yes. You're a good cat, Gamas. A good cat. Uh, right. Let's go down these stairs. Oh, I have a feeling this leads me back to where I was a second ago. It does. It does lead me back to where I was a second ago. Yeah, that's exactly where I was a second ago. Right. So, up here. Go up again. No, that's where I... No, this way. Wait, is there anything in here? Oh, ah, the flashlight. Wait, that's a different flashlight bit. The flashlight was facing the other way last time, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? <laughs> yes, yeah, lose. Yeah, this. What is it? You can make all the right moves and still lose. That's 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 one of those situations. That's kind of what this feels like, to be honest with you. Oh, hang on a minute. Am I? I'm going back on myself. I've been this way before, only the other way. Yeah, go back up here. So, let's go... Is it in here? Ah, 
That's a big hole in the wall. A big hole. Yeah, so it's there I want. This has got to be the longest I think I've ever spent in a game like this without something happening. Like, without anything happening, without anything chasing... Ah, a triangle door. Without anything chasing me, without any sense of dread. I'm back here. Lovely. Right, so now if I go down... Go down here. And then go through here. What's through here? Yeah, it's probably the longest I've spent on a liminal space game without anything happening. Aha! What is this? Interest. Uh, wait, can I go? Yeah, I can go down there. What is that? That's some sort of, like, jewel or glyph? Interesting. Right, don't go in the water just yet. Just because it slows me down. Okay, well, I've got to go in the water now. So, <laughs> it's one way or another. This looks weird. These doors feel far too big for my my tiny body. There's a tiny body door. Oh, this leads me back here. Right. I'm going to call time on this. I think this is a really good looking game. This is a very good looking game and a good concept and a good technical demo. And it is a demo, right? But I think if you are going to demonstrate the game to people, just make it a little more linear like i have I've no problem exploring stuff i've no problem investigating things and sort of going through rooms bit by bit but largely i like some element of signposting to these sorts of games any element of signposting to these sorts of games where i feel like i'm making more progress otherwise maybe it's the um intention of the developer to make you feel like you're lost like you'll feel like you're actually completely lost in a liminal space if that's the case that's very well executed it's well executed because i am lost i am wandering around this space because i don't know where i'm going um but if the idea is oh now they're gonna see the thingy bit and now they're gonna see the what's it bit and now they're gonna see the doodah bit it's not happening because I am just, I am not very good at remembering where I've been sometimes. And I can't, I'm not the only one. And normally I have a good head for this in, in video games. I'm normally really good. I've got pretty decent sense of direction with gaming, but this just feels like it's, there's a bit too much space in this liminal space. And even now I feel like I've been here before, right? And it doesn't have a map, no. I've been here before. I'm certain I've been here before. And the music is playing, but I don't feel like I've progressed any. Like, I kind of feel like it... Every time I hit a music trigger, it's just playing a bit of music, which makes me feel like I'm making progress. I'm not actually making any progress. Yeah, I've 100% been here. So it just, I don't know, it misses the mark a little bit. Graphically stunning one of the best games i think i've ever seen um sound design brilliant 
absolutely fantastic. The stompy feet, the breath noises every now and then, the the lighting, everything. The water, beautiful. The design of the levels is okay. The pacing is well off. The, the pacing is just completely off. So the lighting, yeah, the lighting is beautiful. The lighting is absolutely fantastic. Like me looking at these fluorescent lights and it showing me like that's a that's a detail right there. It's showing me like little dirt specks on my camera lens. Um occasionally there'll be little graphical glitches like that. I kind of expect that with a demo, so I'm not I'm not too fussed about that. The reflections are lovely. Everything looks lovely, right? It looks really, really nice. Like I said, it just kind of misses the mark. Anyway, this has been an exploration into the Dreamcore demo. I hope you've enjoyed this. It has been a bit of a long one, but you know, we've rambled on a little bit and we've had a bit of an explore and hopefully, you know, if you find, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're like, no, you missed the bit and you missed the thing, then say so down in the comments. I'm absolutely, absolutely welcome that sort of stuff. Um, but otherwise, stay safe, stay spooky, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much, everyone.